Can man play God? I'll put this in context. Is human gene editing ethical? Is it right to make changes in the genetic makeup and design of human beings? This is an issue that has divided opinion across the world. Some say scientists, some scientists in fact say that gene editing could cure human beings of diseases and enhance their qualities. But the fact of the matter is simple. If a gene is edited, the changes will be passed on to future generations and human beings as such do not know the impact of gene editing on future generations. In China, this particular debate has raged on intensely ever since a scientist gene edited a pair of twin girls last year. And now, China has cracked the whip. The scientist has been sent to prison for three years. Specific case, I feel, it's a, I feel proud, actually. I feel proudest. When Chinese scientist He Jianghu announced gene editing of two twin girls in November 2018, it was viewed as a seminal but controversial moment in biotechnology. Lulu and Nana are the first gene-edited babies in history. The scientists said gene editing helped the girls get immunity from HIV. But gene editing is an area that's long been roiled in ethical conundrum. Soon after the announcement, He Jiangku faced backlash in China as well as from the scientific community. In some sense, it was a universal condemnation. A paper published in the reputed journal Nature Medicine argued that the gene mutation could lead to premature deaths. He jung was placed under police investigation and then kept under house arrest. His research came to an immediate halt. And now, 13 months later, a Chinese court has sentenced the gene doctor to three years imprisonment plus a penalty of four luck $30,000. The charge, illegal practice of medicine. Two of the scientists' collaborators will also be put in prison. This could be the end of He Jiang Q's experiments with human beings. But the story is far from over. He Jiang Q broke the law because gene editing on human embryos for reproductive purposes is unethical in China and elsewhere. The scientist is said to have recruited eight couples to participate in these experiments with HIV-positive men and HIV-negative women. He jiang tweaked a specific gene called CCR5 and closed the path of human immunodeficiency virus HIV. This is human beings designing life with specific characteristics, a dangerous, risky technology to alter life by altering the species itself. To we'll move on to the stage for embryo gene editing, there will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. It's game over for He jiang who thought he could tweak life and get away with it. Genetic material is not a gadget for the greedy. China especially should learn from the episode. From deadly birth control policies, to cloning pet animals, to tweaking human genome, every law is being flouted in the country. Experiments on human gene is a matter of grave concern. One, the implication of human mutation is unknown. Two, it's ethically wrong to design babies and man cannot play God. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.